Hi, this is Rob from Akai Professional. I'm here today at the DJ shop in Southampton, and today we're looking at the brand new update to MPC, which is MPC 2.6. Let's get into it. This update brings a selection of new features, including step and grid automation, Ableton Live Set Export, submixes, and a lot more workflow enhancements. To start with, let's look at the step automation. Here I've got a beat set up with a synth. Let's play it back really quickly. If I wanted to automate that sound, I can do it via two ways, the step automation or the grid automation. What we're gonna do first is the step automation. To automate the synth, just select the synth track and then go to the step sequencer. Here you'll see velocity is the default parameter. Select it and then go to add new. And you can see here that I've got the track and the program. I'm just gonna choose the plugin and go to tube synth, which is my plugin on this synth. And then I can choose any of these parameters to automate via the step sequencer. For this, I'm gonna choose the cutoff. To use step automation, what you need to do is go into the step sequencer. And you can see here that I've actually got my step sequencer automating the reverb mix. Obviously, there will be a velocity as default, but all you do is go to add new, select the track. If you want to do the channel pressure, program changes, things like that, or go to the program, so the plugin number one, to change the mix controls and automate those, or go to the plugin, which is tube synth, and choose any of those parameters. If I jump back to my automation and press play, you can see that that is playing back automation in steps. If I want to press the plus button, I can go to the next bar and draw it in either using my hand on the screen or using the Q-Link encoders and adjusting them step by step. By pressing Q-Link, you can jump to the next half of that bar and add them in piece by piece. To see this on the grid view, Press menu, and as you can see here from the newly designed touch user interface, I can choose grid view. And here I can see the chords for that progression, but I've also got velocity. If I touch on velocity and select it, you can see my parameters. And on the previous grid automation, I did my reverb mix. So if I select that and press the arrow up, you can see those steps on the grid. So now I could go in with my erasing tool or my rubber and just drag out the pieces I don't want, select my pen tool, and then draw in the steps by hand. If I wanted to use the grid or the step mode to automate effects, all you do is simply go to your main screen, make sure there is a plugin on that channel. So for this, I'm gonna add a filter. So as you can see here, we've actually updated the plugin window which makes it much easier to access and find your favorite sounds using the subcategories. So let's go to EQ and filter and choose the air filter. So you can see here, that's all ready to go. If I jump back into my grid view, so menu, grid view, and then I choose the velocity window again, that will show me my parameters. And this time I'm gonna add a new parameter. So I'm just gonna to go to program and then I go to insert. So now you can see the insert of air which I've added and I can see all of the available parameters to map. So for this let's just choose the cutoff frequency and I'm just going to draw in my shapes. There is also ability in the step mode to use the presets. So if I jump back into my step sequencer and I'm on my reverb I can actually press presets and this will give me a preset automation shape. So if I press this, you can see that it's given me a steep curve without me having to draw it. If you want to remove the automation you've already done, simply press shift and clear to clear the entire automation or clear bar to remove that bar you've just worked on. One of the main improvements on 2.6 is the ability to export your project as Ableton Live Sets. This means that you can export the project and open it within Ableton and it'll look as if it was made in there in the first place and will be synced to the project. To do this, all you do is go to your menu, 
go to the folder icon and choose ALS export in the bottom right corner. Here you'll get the options to choose your MIDI to be bounced as audio or to be bounced as MIDI to be used with other VSTs or AUs or you can choose to include the program volume and pan settings or bypass the program effects to add your own effects within Ableton. You can also choose the bit depth and the sample rate. Simply hit export, choose the desired SD, SSD or external hard drive, select the folder, name it, and save. And this will then export all the tracks into an ALS folder, and then you can open it on your laptop. So now you can see inside of the SD card, which I used on the MPC, I now have a 2.6 Ableton project. Let's click on there, and then I've got the ALS folder. Let's double click on that to open it inside of Ableton. And now you can see all of the tracks laid out on their own separate channel. And if I press play, you can see all the parts playing separately on their own channels. Two point six brings eight sub mixes to the channel mixer. To access this, press menu, channel mixer. Select the top corner where it says Mixer and choose Submixes. So this allows you to have eight submixes where you can route your audio and effects. To add an effect, simply select your submix, go to Inserts, and then choose from the Effects browser, and then that is on the submix. And then you can just route your tracks to that submix to be affected. There is also a huge amount of workflow enhancements on MPC 2.6. You can now quantize all tracks. In the grid window, simply hold Shift and TC, and you can now see at the bottom there is an all tracks quantization. In addition to the improved touch user interface, we've updated some of the inserts, including the vintage effects. As you can see here, the MPC 3000 has its own vintage FX touch user interface. We've also tweaked the sampler. Now, when you record a sample, there's a pop-up window which allows you to edit the sample straight from the sample record. That was a really quick overview of the brand new features on MPC 2.6. If you've got any more questions, don't hesitate to get in touch with the guys at the DJ shop. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.